So when you look at this thing called life, it's about transformation. It's, it's about disruptions and about miracles because you have miracle working power. Don't judge where your situation is right now. Don't judge your circumstances, even if you don't have any evidence to the contrary. Judge not according to appearances. What, what, what do you mean by that, Les? It's because of the fact that, that we're talking about right thinking, right words, right feelings, right relationships, and the right environment. You gotta create an environment for you to win. And you got to expect to win a, a perpetual sense of optimism. When they diagnosed me with fourth stage cancer, that stirred up a fight in me. When all of a sudden out of New York said, Les Brown has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Our brother is dying, pray for him. And by the time I got home, phone was ringing off the hook. I got angry. Now I look back, that was a good thing he did. You know why? Because I said, he doesn't know me like that. How are you, you going to put me in the ground already? How's he going to do that? As if I'm just going to say, okay, they said that I got cancer, so I'm going to die. But there are people who do that every day. But there are some people defy the odds. Defy the odds. Eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. You know why? They defied the odds. They lost everything and they came back. I interviewed a young man last night. His name is Zach, Zach Benson. Zach was a break dancer and he was very good. When I interviewed him, I had no idea where this was going. I did not know his story. Listen to me, you got a story. And people who want to monetize this story, like I'm going to be working with Zach and your story on how you overcome stuff, how you dealt with stuff will be a survival guide for somebody that's going through it right now who have a sense of optimism and expect things to get better. They see their situation situation as temporary. So Zach was a, a break dancer, young guy, 28 years old. And in practice, he landed the wrong way and injured himself. And it was severe, but he did not want to disappoint his fans or the promoters. And he tried to dance anyhow. And that only lasts for 47 seconds. You'll see in the interview, guess what he did? And I wanna walk you through this process. He had to rethink his life because that which he loved to do, that which he did very well, that which he thought would take him into the future and be his livelihood was taken away. That's what coronavirus has done to a lot of people, to their businesses, to their jobs to their dreams, taken away in a blink of an eye. And a friend of his called and made a suggestion to him. I believe in Angel. When I lost my job at the radio station, at WVKO radio station, when they fired me, a gentleman came to my house named Horace Perkins with a, a list of names on a petition and said, Les Brown, you've been fired off the air, but people love you. You ought to run for state representative. People will come out and vote for you. I would have never done that. I didn't even think about running for office. I was known for bringing out the vote and inspiring people to register to vote. So at any rate, he brought these petitions to my house. And to make a long story short, I ran for state representative against a 22 year incumbent and won, hands down. There's something else. When one door closes, another door opens. That eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nose entered, the heart of mankind, what God has in store for you. There's some things that happen to you, but there's some things that happen for you. And guess how they come about? When you realize that life is about transformation, disruptions, and miracles, you have miracle working power. And so Zach, because he landed wrong, it ended his dancing career, his break dancing career. We we're both adopted, so we felt connected. And somebody made a phone call to Zach and said, you know what, I'm looking at something called Instagram. You ought to become involved in this. There's some money up in there. Now, here's something else. When something happens to you and interrupt what you are now doing, you can make a decision, you know what? I'm gonna still find a way to win. And that's a good thing. I could have found a way to stay in radio, but I didn't. I decided to take another route, another path, and become a state legislator. 
and was very successful. But he decided from the phone call that he got, he was going to look into Instagram. And so this is a time that maybe you need to be willing and open to looking at something else. And that's what he did. And when you're open to learn something else, if you're not willing to learn, I always say this, no one can help you. But if you're willing to learn, no one can stop you. This is a time for you to look at your life, look at where you want to go, look at what you want to do. And let me warn you, don't look at where you are. Don't look at your bills. Don't spend time talking about what has happened to you. Keep that eye single. Hold a vision of yourself being successful in the future with whatever you do. That's what you want to do because your thoughts have magnetic power. Where focus goes, energy, persistence, faith, and determination flows. That's why we're taught to keep thine eye single so you can align yourself and get ready to win, to create the next greatest version of yourself. I reinvented myself. You can reinvent yourself. Start asking yourself, what is it? What talents, what gifts, what miracle working power in me I haven't called on yet? Greater is he as in you than he that's in the world. You got miracle working power. You're here for a reason. You've been chosen. You've been picked out to be picked on because you have miracle working power in you. There's something in you the world needs. You are going down the wrong path. And so, you know what? There's been an intervention. There's been a disruption. Say, oh, no, 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 no. I got something else for you that's bigger and better than that. And so, listen, I, mean, I went from the Miami Sanitation Department working for Sears as a salesman, selling television sets door to door, being a disc jockey, a community activist, a state legislator, and now a voice of transformation around. the world are you kidding me what a mighty god we serve i'm here because of his grace and mercy and so are you don't forget it you're no accident you got to become defiant this thing called life it's about a fight there are a lot of people that are talking about all the people dying from the coronavirus guess what there are far more people that are living like my daughter serena like my son-in-law will and they've been fighting and they are winning. Life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. I want you to write this down. Think about something that you want to do in your personal life, in your professional life, in your health, in your relationships. Who is it that you don't need to deal with, be in relationship with, communicate with? Life is like an elevator. The higher you go up, like those spaceships, the higher they go up, they let certain stuff off because it's too heavy. Yet some people just too heavy when it comes to drama. You want, when you have goals and dreams and you want to fine tune your life and approach to life, you want to create a drama free zone. No drama up in here. You ain't got time for it. A lot of people don't know what time it is. A lot of those people don't know how different things are. They don't know. They have no clue. There are three kinds of people. There are people who make things happen, people that watch things happen, and people that don't know what happened. That's the majority. And they'll be standing in line somewhere, hoping that somebody with mercy and pity will look in their direction. No. Hey, listen here. You've been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth. Listen to me. Be defiant. 
Be willing to learn something. Keep moving in the direction of where you want to go. Continue to fall forward. This thing has not come to stay. It's come to pass. And as you look at your goals, I, I read something. Preparation is very important. I read this and I said, I like this. You must prepare for success even if there is no indication of it. You must prepare for success even if you have become accustomed to failure. You must prepare for success if nobody you know, nobody in your life. achieved anything. You must prepare for success. Take the time to prepare and prepare hard. Nobody in my family has done what I've done, but I didn't let that stop me. I didn't let that stop me from feeling that this life that I'm living now wasn't available to me when I was going through foreclosure or eviction or when I was hiding my car at my cousin Boo's house. And I learned a long time ago, the best way to get back on your feet is to miss three car payments. You got to step up your game plan. You've got to look at this for what it is. Something's happening up in here and it's different. And, and there's, there's no time to sit around and say, well, why did this have to happen to me? Why not you? Who would you suggest? You got to be like Zach Benson. Deal with it. Got to deal with it. I'll never forget when I was unloading the truck. Going back to the house I moved my mother out of, my mother told me, hold your head up, boy. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Hold your head up. You have nothing to be ashamed of. And when you lift up your head, let me tell you something. Oh, anybody can have faith when you got a job, your marriage is working, you got money in the bank, your children acting like they have good sense. Nobody looked at you and told you that you are terminally ill. Oh, you can have faith then, but faith not. Tested can't be trusted. Listen to me. Listen to me. You don't know how strong you are until you have to be strong. And most people, they choose. It's always a choice. It's always a choice. Zach Benson, check him out. In the interview I did with him on my Facebook after my conversation with you, Jack Benson could have become depressed and turned to drugs and all type of self sabotaging behavior as many people do every day.